Catchy OS versus Fedora. If you're looking for a Linux operating system, you're in the right place. Today we are going to check them out, see what exactly they offer. So let's dive in. All right, so if you are looking for a sick operating system, Catchy OS is a pretty good choice. Let's have a look at what it offers. So it is a performance first philosophy. So it's ARC based distribution with custom compiled packages and multiple optimized kernels specifically are designed for gaming and real time workloads. It offers um, builds that leverage modern CPU instruction sets. It yields um, 15 to 20 percent performance gains on compatible hardware, and it is tinkerer friendly. So it provides extensive customization tools for kernel parameters, scheduler settings, and even system optimization. Catchy OS's core features include custom optimized repositories. So Catchy OS maintains its own repository featuring um, custom compiled packages built with modern cpu instruction sets like x86 64 version 3 and version 4 for unparalleled performance gains it has very diverse kernel section selection so you can choose from a variety of performance tuned kernels such as bore and bmq and zen they are each designed to provide optimal responsiveness for gaming, real-time tasks, or even just general computing. You can also experience faster package installations with the ZSTD compression and benefit from advanced file system options like BTRFS during installation for enhanced data integrity as well as performance. The last thing over here, some of their benefits while using Catchy OS is their streamlined installation. So their GUI installer with desktop environments selection and kernel customization options is really awesome. Also, you have pre-configured um, with game mode, Mango HUD, Proton and Wine support, and then also a Steam integration for hassle-free gaming. It has vast software repositories, so you have full access to Arc user repositories and Chaotic AUR providing uh, thousands of gaming tools as well as applications. Catchy OS, OS uh, really does excel at providing fine-grained performance controls while maintaining usability. Let's look at Fedora now, and this is a cutting-edge innovation backed by Red Hat. So you can now experience tomorrow's technology today with Fedora, where Red Hat's enterprise expertise meets open source innovation to deliver a premium Linux experience altogether. So Fedora's features include the Red Hat sponsorship. So it's backed by industry leader Red Hat, and it ensures professional grade development and integration of cutting edge open source technologies. It also ships with a beautiful polished GNOME environment, offering modern design principles and intuitive user experiences straight out of the box. It also utilizes the robust RPM packaging with the efficient DNF package manager for streamlined software installations and system maintenance. And it is SE Linux enabled by default and it maintains aggressive update schedules to ensure maximum system security as well as stability. You can see over here some of their benefits and advantages is the fact that it's a developer paradise. So it's perfect for developers and tech enthusiasts who need access to the latest software stacks, programming languages and development tools as they are released. Red Hat's backing also provides exceptional stability and professional grade support infrastructure, making it suitable for serious work environments. It also delivers outstanding compatibility with modern devices and hardware configurations, often supporting new hardware before any other distributions. Ladies and gentlemen, what a head to head comparison. The real takeaway here is to go and deep dive on your own, try the software and see what actually works for you because we are all individuals. If this guidance video was helpful, drop us a like to show your support. We'll see you next time.